gentlemen in the morning. Common Sense Radio. Trump, President Trump, just taking the bull by the horns yesterday on trade. Cut number five here. Here he is right there. We just officially terminated TPP. There you go. Cut number six, talking about regs. We think we can cut regulations by 75%. I mean, unbelievable. So much so that after this meeting with union members, James Hoffa, of all people, who I'm told was an earlier supporter of Trump as a teamster, I, 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 I was wrong about that. I think it was Trumpka who wasn't. But unless here's James Hoffa talking about the meeting. When the president laid out his plans about how he's going to handle trade, how he's going to invest in our infrastructure, and how he's going to level a playing field for construction workers and all Americans across this country, and then took the time to take everyone into the Oval Office and show them the seat of power in the world. The respect that the president of the United States just showed us, and when he shows it to us, he shows it to three million of our members in the United States. Was nothing short of incredible. I mean, that's nothing short of incredible right there. And- Gentlemen, we're about to enter the fascinating sphere of medicine. From the cave, filled with water, weaponry, and all kinds of love, Dr. Randy The Tolkien. Democratic Party has just had taken from it one of its most prolific supporters, the unions. Dr. Tolbert, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing well, and if there was a political seismograph, I think Donald Trump just launched about a 9.5 on the Richter scale. I mean, I think this is just uh, this is uh, earthquake level uh, tumult and change in in governance. And boy, am I glad to see it. I mean, he's sending some clear messages: reduce regs by 75 percent. That is music to the ears of a lot of would-be startup entrepreneurs who otherwise have been frozen out of fear of either being out of compliance or getting something started and then not being able to invest and develop it because rather you have to invest in lawyers and accountants and compliance officers to develop your product or your goods or your service. Uh, it is it is remarkable what we're witnessing, Jamie. You know, Dr. Tobler, I've told this story before. I knew a guy uh, a while back who told me this story. He's He, he has a metal shop in Maplewood, and he's got like 15 employees. He had to lay off uh-huh. two of them uh, a few years ago because there was a new regulation about uh, some kind of uh, metal coating on something. And it cost him so much money to try to comply with this metal coating regulation that he had to lay off two people, two you know, yeah. wage yeah. earners, yeah. two f- heads of, of a family because of this met- metallurgic coding regulation and it's unbelievable now you and i though are both uh cautious though on this infrastructure thing and and we'll see what happens Uh, right now the president trump and and the rest of the guys are saying it's going to be a private public partnership so you and i will keep an eye on that uh, because we don't want another one of these uh shovel ready type of deals that obama did but but the rest of the stuff is something definitely to embrace Look, he is he's doing the art of the deal and he's doing it with the American people and with the the politicians in in Congress and the bureaucrats at the same time. Everyone knows that there's not going you know, on December 31st of this year, we're not going to look back and say, "Wow, this was the year that regulations were cut 75%." We know though that at the end of this year, we'll be able to say a little bit of the burden was lifted, a lot more than has been lifted in decades, and that the uh, the uh, ability of people to live their lives in freedom with respect to others and with respect to the environment without worshiping at the altar of intoler- of uh, tolerance and diversity and uh, the, the environment and on and on, is that's going to be what we'll look back. So he's overshooting, realizing that he'll get a lot of what he wants, but not all. I mean, I, I, as you talk about the metallurgy, I'm thinking about uh, the dentist in the little town up near the lair who's been practicing for four, 50 years, and he is about ready to fold it up because some new regulation has come down that, uh, now mind you, no one's putting in silver fillings anymore, right? Everything's <laughs> right. composite, everything's all plastics. And now he has to get some kind of a silver recovery system as he's you know taking out old, ca- old fillings that are silver, and it's going to cost him bazooka bucks to do that, right? And he's like, are you kidding me? 
Wow. <laughs> you got to be kidding me. Look at the look at the stuff belching out of the the the, the industrial plants today. Uh, so, in other words, that that's just another example. So, yeah, and I agree with you. We're going to have to keep an eye out on the infrastructure because if it's just another government spending plan to create jobs uh, temporarily, probably not as good an idea as people think. Right. And I thought it was also groundbreaking, too, when Hoffa talked about energy policy uh, mm-hmm. because that's that's such an important component of revitalizing our economy. Uh, just just stopping the the bleeding when it comes to just suffocating uh, real life fossil fuel uh, folks and, and and energy. So I'm so glad to see that as well. And so boy, we're in a new era there, and that must have just freaked out the Democrats to see <laughs> this happening. They, they just don't know what to do. They are like they've just been, been through the tilted, haunted house at Silver Dollar City, and they don't know which ends up and whether they're fat or thin because they're looking in a mirror and they can't figure it out. I <laughs> it's love just it. Great. Yeah, no doubt about it. All right, Dr. Tober, by the time this week is over, if, if things are moving as fast as they seem to be, by the time the week is over, Saturday morning, I, I don't know how you're going to fit it all in, but we definitely will be listening to, to see. Yeah, we're going to be focusing on health care because we've got a lot of work to do there. Oh, yeah. good. Fantastic. All right, Dr. Tolbert. Always good to talk to you, my friend. Likewise. Good seeing you. All right. You too. 969-797-866-455-9797. Judge Napolitano on the way. Jay Stewart, who uh, talked on his Facebook page. I guess he decided he was going to try to say on his Facebook page that I've been contradicted over the... Trump pro-life issue in the wake of his reinstituting the Mexico rule. We'll follow up on that, plus Doug Giles. How will you spend your tax return? Will a new TV or the newest cell phone protect you when the unexpected happens? Wildfires, hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes. You and your family could be left helpless waiting for a slow-acting FEMA to come to your rescue. In a disaster, 